Hey everybody, how's it going? Aaron here back for another video. This one's exciting, it's been one I've been wanting to do for a while and it's something I think you guys are really going to like. So which MCAT review book is better? Princeton Review right here or Kaplan? So I'm going to be giving both of these review books away. It's all seven of them. The only one missing from the Kaplan is like a is a booklet that summarizes like a lot of the amino acids and chemical equations. I don't know, I lost it at some point during my studying. So I'm sorry, that's the only thing that's missing. Um, and I'll give you guys the instructions on how you guys can enter that giveaway here in a little bit. But first, I'm going to end the debate. Which one is better? So in retrospect, if I had to go back and retake the MCAT with what I know now and how I study now, I would definitely go with Kaplan, all right? So Kaplan also offers resources for medical students. Um, they have some awesome question banks. It's actually what I'm using right now for my immunology NBME that I take on Monday. So I think that's probably what skewed me towards a Kaplan-oriented approach. I think um, they might be doing it longer or they have more experience doing practice tests. I don't know what it is the way whenever you answer a question it really explains to you why something is correct and incorrect like many do but I think just staying consistent from an undergrad Kaplan if you take the MCAT using Kaplan and then you transition over into the um, Kaplan resources for medical school it's a great transition and you'll be used to how it is Kaplan does ask really hard questions but that's what we're here for right we're here to be challenged um, to learn and yes, you might struggle, but you're gonna save lives someday. So um, It's okay to struggle. All right So if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely go with Kaplan now that being said I did use the Princeton review the second time I took my MCAT and I got a better score Was that because Princeton was better? I'm not sure was it because I was more focused and I put more time in into it that's part of the equation. So they're both really good test prep books. Um, I really liked Princeton Review's um, explanations. They were a lot friendlier. They weren't as dense and difficult, I think, as Kaplan is. Kaplan is dense and sometimes the explanations aren't as easy as they came out in Princeton Review. Now, if you guys haven't watched my MCAT video, I would highly recommend go watching it. I'll put it, um, maybe not now, maybe like towards the end, I'll put it here in the corner so you guys can watch it. And you guys can hear how I did on the MCAT and some MCAT tips that I have for you guys. All right. Um, I think in the other video, I did not say that I do not recommend only using these test prep books as your main, as like the only thing you use to study for the MCAT, okay? You need additional resources and the main two additional resources I used were Khan Academy. The Khan Academy videos online are awesome guys. You guys need to check it out. I think last I heard Kaplan was trying to buy them out. I don't know if that happened but they were really good a year ago. I used them to fill in the gaps and even some concepts that I couldn't quite understand using both Kaplan or Princeton. Then I would just go ahead and look at Khan Academy and their videos are awesome. And then the second one is practice questions, practice questions, practice questions. So I bought a next gen book. I don't have it here with me. I let a friend borrow it uh, so that she could study, but it was just straight discrete questions um, for every subject. I focused on general chemistry and physics because that was my weakest. So I just, I would do a bunch of discrete questions and then review why I did it right, why I got it right and why I got it wrong. This is such an important process to study for the MCAT. Why you got something correct and incorrect is so important for you guys to do well on the MCAT. You guys don't under understand. I can't stress that enough, okay? So definitely review your um, questions on why you got it right and why you got it wrong. All right, guys. So I'm going to reach out to um, a few people and see if I can get this video out so that a lot of pre-meds can be in on this giveaway. I am going to give it around two months. So around Christmas time, if I can do it Christmas morning, if I can find a, if I can give you guys the news that day, that would be awesome. So there's going to be two winners from this, okay? So one is going to get the Princeton and one is going to get the Kaplan. Um, the first one, I'm going to pick two people. The first winner gets to pick if they want Kaplan or Princeton and then the other will just get the other test prep book. 
All right, so to enter that, all you guys need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I really appreciate the support, and I want to grow, and just so that people get to watch my videos as I go through this medical school journey, and you guys can see my vlogs and what I do on my day-to-day -day activities. Um, and then I'm going to take who I pick from the comments below. So comment below um, what year you are in school, in like college, what kind of pre-med major you have, why you deserve these books, what kind of doctor you want to be. I don't really mind what you guys put in the comment. If you guys want to be entered for the giveaway, just comment anything below, say hi, um, let me know. If you guys have any criticism for my videos, I really appreciate all criticism, criticism as long as it's constructive and uh, I mean I'm not like a professional YouTuber. You guys are off of a, I'm filming this off of a pretty cheap camcorder. And you guys are literally sitting on a shoebox and a journal. So, and then my camera's right there. So that's what I'm videotaping off of. I'm not gonna like go out and buy expensive stuff. All right guys, so enough rambling, I guess. Uh, to enter the giveaway, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below whatever's on your mind, and you guys can, it's not gonna be, follow me on Instagram, that's not part of it. Um, just comment below, and I hope you guys um, get these books, let me know what you guys think, and thank you guys so much for your support, and if you guys have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram, um, it's probably easier for me to answer questions there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much.